Are you like many Americans who enjoy MagSafe because of the safety, security, and peace of mind that this charging method provides? Well, unfortunately, those days are now gone. Or are they? So as you guys can see by that infomercial, MagSafe is a really good charging solution, mainly because if you left your MacBook on a table and someone were to walk over the charging cable and, I don't know, trip over it and fall, it's not gonna pull your MacBook off the table with it. It'll simply detach from the charging port and the cable will simply fall to the ground. It was really awesome. Well, I'm sure as you guys already know, the new MacBooks that just came out don't have MagSafe anymore. They were replaced by USB Type-C. Well, there's a company out there who sent us some cables and they plan on providing you guys a very similar charging solution. And they go by the name GPEL or G-P-E-L or well, you, guys, you guys will see on the box. Let's just get to the cables, okay? So GPEL offers three different cables that come with magnetic tips. And the three tips are lightning, micro USB, and USB Type-C. So you can essentially charge almost any device on the market today. Now, there are a couple cool features when it comes to these cables as well. They can support fast charging speeds up to 2.4 amps. They can support fast data transfer up to 480 megabits per second. And they're five feet in length, which is about two feet longer than the average cable that comes in the box with your new phone. Another cool thing is the tips are reversible. So one tip could theoretically work on any of the cables they offer. So it's pretty neat. So magnetic charging cables actually give you a couple benefits. The first and most obvious one is that they're convenient. Especially at nighttime, whenever you're trying to put your phone on charge and you have to kind of feel around your phone just to see where the cable goes in. Um, with these, you just kind of leave the tip of the cable inside your phone at all times and you move the magnetic cable close enough to it and it attaches right on. So that's pretty cool. The other factor is that they're safe. So a lot of times whenever you're charging your phone, you probably leave it on a nightstand or a table of some kind and you don't really think about the cable as far as how exposed it is to other people moving around or even yourself moving around sometimes. All it takes is one kind of trip over the cable and your phone could go flying, come off charge, hit a wall, I don't know, hit your dog. Something could happen um, to the phone to the point where it could get damaged. With these, if you trip over the cable, the magnetic cable snaps right off, the tip stays in your phone, and your phone doesn't go anywhere. So super convenient and super safe at the same time. But of course the cables aren't perfect and there are two downsides that I can think of right off the bat. One is the price. Each cable is what David, $25? Yeah. $25 per cable. Um, so if you need to get all three, you're looking at spending around $75 before tax. Um, actually the USB Type-C one is 26 while the Lightning and Micro USB are 25 for some reason. Um, the second one is that the tip is kind of hard to get out of the phone. So with a regular charging cable, you can pull on the cable and that's it, everything comes out. With this one, if you just pull on the cable, the tip stays in the phone. Now that's a good and a bad thing. Uh, if you don't have nails, it's really hard to kind of get the tip out of your phone. It's supposed to stay in there, obviously, it's got a stunk fit. So that's one thing. Uh, I, I love the fact that it's convenient and it's safe, but at the same time, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of rough getting in there to, to actually get the tip out of your phone. So those are two downsides for sure. So the cables are super dope, but I hope in the future, as more companies start to bring out more of these style cables, I really hope they start to give consumers more options. Um, starting off, this seems to be a system where the more tips you have inside your devices uh, to go along with the magnetic cables themselves, the easier, safer, and more convenient it is to charge everything without having to fumble around with that many cables. That being said, $25 for one cable, is a little pricey, especially considering you'll need a lot of them, again, in order to have that convenience factor. So in the future, hopefully lower prices, hopefully you can buy the magnetic cable without a tip and you can kind of buy the tip separately. And one other cool thing would be to see a USB Type-C to a lightning cable with the MagSafe being on the lightning end, obviously, because the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the upcoming iPhone 10 support fast wired charging. So that would be really cool to see. Nonetheless, awesome cables. Thank you to GPEL, GPEL, something like that. Something like that. Thank you to you guys for sending us these cables. They are awesome. David and I loved them. As always, we will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check them out and buy. And as always, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. That's pretty good. The second uh, benefit is that I forgot the second benefit. <laughs> <laughs> That is beneficial. <laughs> what is the second benefit? I don't know.